your friend's boyfriend or girlfriend is not your friend. It's really not. Sis, so, 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 Hey guys, what's up? If you're new, thank you for coming to this channel. I hope you like what you see. I hope you subscribe. I hope you join the fam. Please do, because I need you. <laughs> and if you're not, hey girl, thank you for clicking as always. And yeah, let's get right into this video. Okay guys, so I'm going to do I'm going to do my makeup while I talk about a particular topic I've been wanting to talk about for a while for a minute because I feel like I feel like some people are just not clear on that topic and I don't know, it's just you're out there embarrassing yourself and that's why I'm your sis that's going to put you right back so that you stop embarrassing yourself and us because you know why team if you guys like this our videos please let me know and I'll keep doing them so something I want to talk about is unpopular opinions on the term friends all right so let's just start with the eye first I really don't know how I'm going to combine with them hopefully I don't talk too much and do my makeup okay starting off this look I'm not even sure what I'm doing I know what I'm going to do, but let's just pretend like I don't. Um, I'm going to use the Chaos Cosmetics and I'm going to be using this purple shade here on my crease. So right now I'm just applying this the purple shade I showed you guys onto my crease area. And I'm sweeping it out here. So I want to talk about unpopular opinions friends and the first thing I want to talk about is I think the first thing to do is to talk about what a friend is and me personally I don't take that term very lightly before I used to I'm not even going to lie I used to just like say oh like I know someone that person is my friend down no <laughs> don't do that okay not everyone you know or talk to is your friend not everybody you meet or conversate with is your friend you know that person but they're not exactly your friend as you know friends have duties you know friends have responsibilities and not everyone wants to say that but just get my drift of what who i'm calling a friend and then i'm going to use this black you have to take a little bit i'm going to put that on my crease as well just below right below the purple shade I put. so my first unpopular opinion friend version is honesty i understand the importance of honesty like obviously you can't someone can't be your friend and you're lying to them that's not that's not nice so yes you should be honest with your friends but i feel like the difference between being honest and just being rude if your friend does something that you don't like you don't agree with it basically and maybe they ask your opinion or you just give them your opinion because they're your friends you're cool like that approach the way you approach them and the way you tell them is very very important because i feel like some people they might not even mean harm but they're like that's just how they are they're brutally honest which is good and fine but um you're just you're being rude actually and it's not nice let's say your friend is setting up the business let's give this in two perspectives you as the person that's starting the business and the you that is the friend of the person that's in the business and uh, let's say they're not very good at that business let's say it's cake making so people are more out there like they're not perfect but they want to start in the business no 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 and they're not that good so let's say you want to tell your friend that like her cakes aren't that like good the way you tell her matters a lot like, if you say it in a nice way like, starting a business or starting something really new especially on social media it takes a lot of courage and guts and you need to be really careful in how you approach that friend with your constructive criticism if you have to because you know you don't want to discourage them entirely you just want to like support them as well and sometimes yeah, you don't even have to say anything honestly you don't have to say it right then you can just give them time to build on their skill now switching over to the other side you that is a friend that's setting the business you are not entitled to support and me i'm saying this because in this scenario i'm trying to do this whole content creation and influencer thing so basically i need followers and i need people to engage with me now i have friends i remind myself that they don't owe me anything that people, people don't like being true to themselves they just don't no one owes you support nobody let's just be honest let's leave all the movies and girl code like point blank they don't owe you anything if they want to do it because 
they are trying to be good friends and they want to support your business and everything that's good and fine but you're not entitled to any support whatsoever like get that clear so me as i'm saying i'm not entitled to telling my friends like like maybe i can do it but i can't say you impose me this is me like no you're crossing your boundary Guys, I'm literally just going to call back and come back. So I'm just going to use this angle brush to get into the purple shade and then kind of smudge out my uh, where I'll normally put my eyeliner basically. Like I was saying, yeah, you're not entitled to any support. If they are doing it, it's because they want to and they're your good friends and they want to help you. But don't ever 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 forget and feel like yeah you deserve it like obviously if they're your friends like kind of you do but let's just let's just try to be very very realistic you don't really deserve it if i'm really really going into it so it's not a matter of you now let's say if you feel like they're not supporting you like that means you're beefing them all that like no you have to look at this thing as you made a decision on your own and you should have had your own plan on how you're going to push the business on your own your friends are not your business partners they are not what is see succeeded they're your good friends yeah but they're not your business partners so you should have your, had your own strategy and let's say you again as a business just answer that your friend now approaches you in a nice way obviously not like they're trying to make you feel bad but they tell you you know let's say um, you're doing makeup or anything I'll be like oh babe i don't think you're you're so good you know maybe you should practice more they give you all like they work on your eyebrows whether like your friend even if she cannot do any makeup she's not doing it for business you don't know if you say her she just be like you can improve your skills don't be angry like she's helping you why are you angry why are people so entitled you know like it's human nature maybe you might feel what it's supposed to mean all that but if you're smart like you be like oh thank you because if some people you're not telling you they're probably telling someone else and i mean you know it's not a good look so you told them personally like i feel like you should master your craft all that you know if you take that as she's a hitter that's your business but what you should not now do is if i tell you that maybe they want to do their own makeup and they don't go to you i'm sorry but like if i have a friend like, i feel like her cake it's not that good and like, maybe i've told her that it's not that good. and it's a big event and you took it the wrong way i'm not going to go to you to make my cake i'm not i'm not we're well, all adults here it's business so now i'm just going to use my ink blood gel right now number seven I'm just thinking and i'm wondering why i did that purple one first is it liners or whatever you think i was going to smudge back the purple just because it's on top so i'm going to use the pigment twinkle support your friend in what, whatever way even before they are perfect support them like you know put them up on your story if you want to and everything like i mean you kind of should if that's really your friend let's not get things confused here i'm just saying that no one's entitled to anything that's just clean truth you're not entitled to anything so if i want to help you i want to help you because i want to not because of you are saying that i'm not your friend <laughs> and you as a person that owns the business it's always good to have that mindset because Sometimes I forget, sometimes I not cross their mind. And when you do, you start having, you basically start resenting them when you have, especially when you have such high expectations. But when you lower those expectations and you don't even expect it from them in a way, maybe you kind of do, but it's not like 100% and they do, you're like, oh, thank you. Like you're, you're genuinely happy that, you know, that they're trying to support you. Because our friends are also supposed to grow together. And that's what I want to talk about this one. I think, I think the people that are guilty of this one, is they are girls. Please don't kill me. I'm just going to pop up my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I've finally done with lashes over to the face, which is actually my favorite part, if I'm being honest. Yes, um, I need to be like, my friend talk, but sorry, I need to also <laughs> mention the products I use. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. primer. So, the one I'm about to talk about is stop inheriting your friend's enemies. What do I mean by this? If your friend is having a problem with somebody, depending on the severity of it, but to be honest, and you personally don't have a problem with that babe, and maybe you know each other, you may not know each other that well, what I would do, if I see her somewhere, and maybe she says hi, I'm not going to ignore her. 
I'm going to say hi back. What's happening? You guys, I have been tried and tested throughout this video. Like my filming equipment is just acting up. Electricity. Oh my god, being a content creator in Nigeria is not easy. Like you don't even want to know the work the magic I just saw to be back on here. But we move. Yes, where was I? I'm going to use this glow oil. Rich gold. I'm just going to shake that. This is the first time I'm using this. It's like a first impression. This retails for three five. So now we're going to use the Fenty foundation and Fenty profile. This is in the shade 430 and 420. I was using too light for me. Yes, I was, I was talking about inheriting enemies. I'm not going to ignore her. Like I just feel like I'm not. I'm not tall. She get like she didn't have. She didn't do anything wrong to me. So the least I can do is be civil. I won't be like extra chatty, especially if I know that she was really wrong. And if I'm in that position, in that relationship with her as well, I'll confront her about it and be like, oh, why did you do this? So and so, yeah. But if we're not, the highest I can do is I'll just be civil. Like, you say hi, I say hi back. I'm not going to ignore her. Like, I'm not going to be rude. Like, I talk to the hands. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a grown woman, you know, I can make my own decisions. And if your friend does that, she's not a fake friend. You get like, I just, she just doesn't have to fight the person with you. Especially if that person is also her friend. And maybe you're closer, but that's also her friend. Like, what do you want her to do? Like, anyway, like, as I said, it's an unpopular opinion. So people might be like, no, there's no loyalty. Da, 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 da. Well, come on, let's, let's be real with ourselves. I wait for my concealer to set in a bit because this is more coverage. I'm going to contour while I wait. Another unpopular opinion your friend's boyfriend, I don't know if it's unpopular, but your friend's boyfriend or girlfriend is not your friend. It's really not. Sis, so, so, sis. Cut it. And it is regardless of if he's being friendly or not. The one because most of the time most guys you know what they're doing. There's no need for unless your friends into you, but there's no need for following. Sometimes the situation if like my friend's boyfriend follows me. I would just say to girl like, huh, ah, hmm, this one follows I will announce it when she is so that she knows, you know, and honestly, depending on her reaction, I'll decide whether I'll follow or not. To be honest, I most likely might not follow. If we haven't had like a conversation and chill with a while and you've been there for a while because um, if you're listening to my friend for this is the first one month, I'm not going to follow you. Like, <laughs> you might not be here next month, so and just respect, respect your boundary, respect yourself. If you don't want to get caught in that situation, me, I'm not even honestly, even me personally, I'm not saying I would want a stock up. I prefer boys and that just prefer to keep to themselves. I'm not going to be rude, but sometimes they're not overly friendly. Overly friendly guys, I don't really like them. If I see you outside, my friend's not with you, I'm going to pass that. If you come, I'm like, oh, hello, hi. I'm moving. There's nothing to talk about again. Ooh, this concealer. I don't know if I'm using this concealer. It's so nice. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Setting Foundation. It's a Fenty face. So yeah, I think the last of unpopular opinion is stop interfering in your friend's relationship. If they do not ask for your opinion, don't give it. Again, I learned this from experience. Matters of the heart, <laughs> you know, and guys, you the surprise the length girls will go for someone they love. Like they love you, but it's not the same with you know their significant other, especially if they've been together for a while. It's really important that you don't fight with your friend over issues like that if she does not agree with you. Fine, don't stop being her friend, just be there, but at the same time I give her tough love, but don't Break up a friendship because she's not doing what you want to do. When she's ready, she'll do it. Just don't force your opinions on people. That's my own opinion. You're a friend, but at the same time, like, you know her mom. At the end of the day, she'll do what she wants to do. I feel like I needed to say this because, I don't know, I just feel some rules that society has put that just doesn't make sense to me. And I just felt like I'm just going to talk about it. If you guys agree, please let me know what you agree with and what you don't agree with. I mean, we're different human beings. I don't expect everyone to agree with what I'm saying, but still my opinion.
guys and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you were able to you know flow with the makeup and the gist i was trying to say and i think the summary is just you know friends grow apart we become our own individuals and it's always key to protect yourself and not expect too much from people because that's how you get hurt fast so i hope you liked this video if you did please subscribe if you are not and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye